hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be looking at how to back up your android materials to your google drive talking about to back up materials like your photos videos contacts important materials files and documents that you will not want to get them missing if your phone gets stolen or maybe you change your device so if you're new to the channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell and if you miss the video on how to use google drive check the link in the description below let's get to the tutorial okay guys so the first step is that we're going to enable our android built-in backup feature now to go to enable it go to your settings remember i'm using an android version 10 phone go to your settings you can search backup and restore and restore in lower versions you'll be backup and reset okay and you go to it or you scroll through your settings go to additional settings go to backup and restore now you make sure back up my data and automatic restore all turn on so you can see you see google back up and reset back up my data is on it's on when this is on it's going to automatically back up your android automatically back up your wi-fi password call history if you read through this message you see what this put this on how important this is okay so your android data will be back up you have your contact messages and photos make sure it's on and then the next one is backup account which google account are you going to be using for backup so you choose if you have more than one okay so that's my google account there the one i'll be using and then automatic restore you put it on you put it on it's very important to restore data setting if you uninstall an app and you will reinstall it it restores it, the app setting so this is very important okay guys so to back up your photos and videos you're going to be using google photos google photos uh, these are one of apps that uh, one of those apps that comes with your android phone when you buy a new android phone it's one of those google apps that you have in your phone google photos so you can you go to open google photos and you have to sign in you can see this is my account here my google drive space is almost full so if you miss the video on how to use google drive check the link in the description below so when you go to google photos and you click when you sign in you have to click on your account and then you click on photo settings if you're using a lesser android version it will just be settings click on it and then you go to backup and sync and you make sure backup ads and sync is turned on now you go to upload size upload size gives you the ability to change which uh the size or the quality of the image or video that will be uploaded into your google uh, cloud space okay so it can be the original quality or the storage server quality this is going to be up to you cellular data usage you're going to tell your phone if you want your phone to be using your data for backup or just wi-fi i'm using just my wi-fi for backup so you can turn it on if you want to backup videos over data or while data is roaming so i only use wi-fi for backup and then you go to backup device folders now when you sign into google drive to google photos sorry when you sign into google photos you you read you understand that anything you do with your camera is automatically backed up okay you have to do the settings if you're going to be using wi-fi for backed up for backing up or your data your camera folder is automatically backed up so here you can choose other folders that you want to add or you want to be backing them up for example my pixel app folder and my file manager is on you can see it's on so you can choose other folders here that you want to back up my whatsapp business image folders on so if i want to back up my twitter or images or videos in my twitter folder i'll just turn it on and it will be added among the folders uh, that i will be backing up from my file manager okay so 
I turn on just two, my Pixela folder and my WhatsApp business folder. Now if I want to back up my WhatsApp business videos, I can just turn this folder on and it will be, all the videos will be backed up to my Google Drive, my Google Cloud space. So that's how you back up videos and photos using Google Photos. That's how you back up those. Alright guys, so let's look at how you can back up your contact. Now to back up your contacts, you have to make sure you're saving your contacts straight to your Google account. Okay, so for example, let me, I'm using this is a contact app for my phone. If I have to save a contact here, I make sure it's being saved to that same Google account. Alright, it's being saved to the Google, my Google account, not my device or my SIM card, no, my Google account. So that way it's easy. Now if you download Google Contact, very important app. This is the Google Contact app. When you download Google Contact, you will be able to see your account. You sign in, your account, and the number of contacts that you have. So these are the number of contacts that I have. All right. So let's say you switch devices, and you are saving your contact. You are saving your contact on your Google account, and when you get into your new device and download this app, Google Contact, and then sign in with the same google account you can go to fix and manage and you just click on restore contacts all your contacts will be restored so that's how easy it is to back up your contact remember the step one of this is very very important okay guys now let's look at how we can back up other files to our google drive right so you open your google drive so when you do, you can see my Google Drive is almost full. I'm at 92%. I've used a lot. So when you open your Google Drive, you each Google account you create, you have 15 gigabyte free storage given to you by Google. All right. So this is your Google Drive. This is my workspace. You can see this has videos, PDF, and these are folders that contain some materials as well. All these folders. So what you do here, you can just click on to upload something to your Google Drive. All you need to do is click on this plus sign. And you'll be able to go to click on upload and you'll be able to go to your file manager and bring whatever it is you want to keep for safekeeping your google uh, google drive storage and you can upload it here and keep it here right so if you happen to change your device or maybe your device is stolen you can just go to your new device sign in with the same google account and you can download them back into your phone it can be a file it can be a particular video whatever you want to keep here it can be an app an apk you can upload all of them here okay so that's how you upload other things other files to your google drive account so if you missed the video on how to use google drive check the description there's a link to a full video on how to use google drive you know how to use google drive very well